Item number SCP-1301. Index, the singing violin. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-1301-1 and SCP-1301-2 are to be kept inside a secured, soundproofed box inside of a secured, soundproofed chamber. Absolute silence is to be maintained at all times within the holding chamber, and personnel will not be permitted entry into the chamber without the provided noise containment suits. Prior authorization is required to handle either SCP. Any personnel or individuals that are contaminated by SCP-1301-1 in its active state are to be immediately contained for study, owing to SCP-1301-1's effects. Description SCP-1301-1 is a violin of crimson hue, lacking a maker's label or other obvious signs of identification. Upon analysis, it has been found that its strings are made of spider silk and that its body is composed of a variety of different woods, primarily spruce and maple. SCP-1301-2 is a violin bow, constructed from Pernambuco wood of a crimson hue identical to SCP-1301-1. Its ribbon is comprised of black, coarse horsehair, but in all other regards it appears to be of usual construction. SCP-1301-1 is extremely sensitive to certain kinds of vibrations. If jostled violently or exposed to human voices, it will enter its active state and its strings will sound audibly for 1 to 13 minutes unless otherwise muffled. Direct exposure to the sound produced during the object's active state will invariably result in contamination. Over the 13 hours following initial exposure, individuals contaminated by SCP-1301-1 will permanently lose their voices and be rendered incapable of speech, singing, or whispering. An additional effect of contamination is the loss of written language. While contaminated individuals appear to readily understand written and spoken words, their own attempts to write will instead result in musical notation of varying sophistication. Providing contaminated individuals with computers or other writing aids has only resulted in incomprehensible gibberish. While held, SCP-1301-2 protects the individual holding it from SCP-1301-1's active state, though it does not reverse this state's effects. If SCP-1301-2 is used to produce vibrations from one or more of SCP-1301-1's strings, a voice singing the appropriate pitch will emerge instead. The E and A strings produce a timbre resembling female voices and the D and G strings produce a timbre that mirrors male voices, though exceptions have been noted to occur outside of the object's anomalous state. While being operated with SCP-1301-2, SCP-1301-1 may enter its anomalous state and produce any one of a number of atypical effects, which have thus far included weeping, crying, screaming, laughing, and unintelligible whispering. The object's anomalous state never exceeds 13 seconds in length. Access experiment log 1301. Test 1. Date. 20. Operator. Procedure. After donning the provided noise containment suit, Mr. entered the chamber removed SCP-1301-1 and SCP-1301-2 from the soundproof box and began operation. Music. Simple improvisation in A major, 4-4 four, four meter. Results. 1 minute and 3 seconds into operation. SCP-1301-1 entered its first observed anomalous state and produced high-pitched screaming for 1.4 seconds at a frequency exceeding hertz. Approximately 0 0.6 seconds after the anomalous state commenced, Mr. dropped SCP-1301-1 and SCP-1301-2 in surprise, causing it to abruptly enter its active state upon contact with the ground. The vibrations successfully pierced Mr.'s noise containment suit. After contamination, Mr. was taken to 
for further study. Despite mistreatment by Mr. SCP-1301-1 and SCP-1301-2 were unharmed. Test 7 Date 20 Operator Procedure After donning the provided noise contamination suit, Mz entered the chamber, removed SCP-1301-1 and SCP-1301-2 from their soundproof box, and began operation. Music The violin solo from SCP-012's first movement. Results During operation by Mz, SCP-1301 rendered the piece in a shrill, unsteady cackle, emitting harmonizing frequencies below Hertz. The object produced intelligible speech during operation, including references to data expunged. The information provided might bear relevance to SCP. Mz ceased operation of SCP-1301-1 with SCP-1301-2 at 46 seconds, gingerly replaced both objects into the box, and immediately fled from the chamber in a state of hysteria. Mz was subsequently administered a Class A amnestic and has since demonstrated no significant psychological scarring. Test 9 Date 20 Operator Procedure After donning the provided noise containment suit, Mr. entered the chamber, removed SCP-1301-1 and SCP-1301-2 from their soundproof box, and began operation. Music Scrap of notation from Mr. Written following the events of Test 1. Results SCP-1301-1 rendered the notation as intelligible speech in Mr. S's voice. Transcript follows. Please get me. Oh, God. Why can't I write? 